Hey guys, it's Melissa Martini on behalf of designbundles.net. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial regarding using icons in Silhouette Studio. For this tutorial, I will be using the customizable outline icon set from Design Bundles. This is $9 and includes all of these different icons within the file. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up your Silhouette Studio and find your file that you're wanting to open. We're going to use the EPS file within this folder. Okay, now once we get everything to load, we just want to find our trace box. We're going to select the trace area and highlight our whole entire file. The reason we're doing this is we want to detach each icon from the whole page. So we are going to uncheck the high pass filter and we are going to turn the threshold up until everything is yellow. And once it is all yellow, we will just hit trace and detach. Now this may take a minute for it to process in Silhouette Studio because you're giving it a lot of information. So you just wait a moment until it is actually no longer highlighted yellow and then we'll move on to the next step. So you can see now that it's no longer yellow and you can actually see an individual cut line around each one of the separate files. Okay, now that everything is traced, we'll just go ahead and move our music note over here off to the side and go ahead and continue working with that. Maybe the pencil too. Let me group these parts back together and possibly this cute coffee cup because everyone likes to do these coffee gift sets. And I'm just going to delete these ones out of the way. Let me start with this coffee cup. Make it a little bit larger so you can see it. Okay, now let's just go over here as if we were going to send it to our silhouette. And if we say we're going to cut, you see how the cut lines are on this. So if we're doing a print and cut, um, what we're going to want to do is go ahead and trace it again. Okay, so first let's go and do no cut on here. So we just have the picture. Now let's go over to our trace menu, select trace area. We'll select the whole entire thing and check the high pass filter. Turn the threshold up until it is all yellow. And then we're going to do trace outer edge. And now if we were to go over to our cut menu again, adjust cut settings and we're going to go to cut. You can see that if you send this to your printer, it's going to print all of these colors for you. And when you go to cut it on the machine, it will only cut the outer edge of the cup. So we did that with a coffee cup. Let's change that back here. Move this over here. And we will do it with the music note as well, just so you can see it again. So we have our cut lines on this music note. Let's just take a look at it. Do you see it cuts through this area right here? We wouldn't want to use that if we're doing a printing cut. So we're going to select no cut. Once again, we'll go over to the trace menu. Go ahead and select the whole entire music note. We're going to uncheck the high pass filter and turn the threshold up until the entire design is yellow. And then once again, trace outer edge. So now we have our music note and our cut lines. If we were to set this up for print and cut with our registration marks, we're going to print it on the printer. It'll print out the registration marks and our music notes. And whenever we send it through to the silhouette, it will know to cut exactly where these cut lines are. You can do that with all of these different icons and designs. And if you follow along with our next tutorial, we will explain how to do print and cut as well. Okay, guys, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask them in the comment section below. Give us a like or a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.